Hi people, happy to see you guys again. And this week we're gonna talk about natural light because I think it's the best light you can get out there and it's also the cheapest. If you look at the majority of my work, you will notice that I often work with strobes, but I also work with natural lights. And recently I discovered that when doing both, I kind of have the same approach. In this video, we'll concentrate on a dance photo shoot that I had in Rome last December and in my bag. I had my 24 to 70 mil, my 16 to 35, and that's it. No diffuser, no reflector. No, no, just my camera and these two lenses. Shooting in December could be very tricky. Days are shorter, obviously. So what you see at the back of your camera, it won't be the same in 15 minutes. So you have to shoot and work very quickly. When shooting in natural light, I generally look for two things. The first thing, I look at the shadow of my model on the floor. This helps me evaluate where the position of the sun is. If the shadow is long, this means that the sun is kind of correctly placed and I will have these weird shadows that you can have in the eye sockets. Number two, shade. Once I'm on location, I'm looking for shade. Uh, this is my least favorite option, but it gives me the option of having an even exposure on my model if I need to. If your sun is too high, remember, shorter shadows. Just ask your model your dancer, whoever is in front of your lens, to slightly raise their heads up. And you can have that even exposure by just backlighting your subject, just like I did in these two example pictures. I love lens flare, and I was hoping to get this effect all across my picture. And if you look closely, you can see that the sun is adding a nice rim light on the side, and without a reflector, I still managed to keep most of the details on her. On the second picture, the sun was already too high, but I still kept that nice rim light to help her stand out from the background. I wanted to start this photo shoot very early in the morning, but it's winter, it's cold, so we decided to only start when the sun was up. I'm a fan of hard lights, so if you like that soft, faded look, this is not for you. I sometimes position my model as if the sun was actually my strobe, my big natural flash. Uh, just have them stand in front of you, uh, look at their face and body and how the shadows behave on them. This will actually help you position your model and choose the pose, the movement that you wanna capture. I'm looking for shadows, I'm looking for contrast. I want them to sculpt the face, the body of my model. The lights definitely influence yeah. the composition and choice of this scene. If you're not new to my work, you know that I love these wide dynamic pictures. On these ones, it's a little bit harder to see exactly where the shadow falls, so you have to give it a few tries. And you know what? Looking at shadows can actually give you a few cool ideas. I asked Valentina that day to actually improvise and play with her own shadow. I even decided to take my picture from above, something that I don't do often, and I must say the result is pretty cool. For this last picture, I was hoping for that split effect, having the light on one side and shadows on the other, but the sun wasn't quite there. But I still decided to take the shot. The problem with natural light is that it's not like a strobe that you can move. You have to, to do with what you have and what the light is giving you. So again, I had her facing the sun and what was cool about that movement is that she naturally had her face, her head facing up, avoiding any weird shadows because the sun at that moment was, was quite high. Pay attention to details. Look at the shadows, look how they behave on your model and use them creatively. The full BTS video will be available this Friday. Yes, this Friday. And of course, I will add the link somewhere here on the screen and in the description box below. If you don't wanna miss it, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click on that bell button notification. Yeah.
give a little thumbs up to this video and share it for support. And like I said, rendezvous this Friday for our new behind the scenes video. And until then, have a good one.